going on everyone today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the Gucci ace tennis shoe I have had the shoe now for about three years and trust me you guys there are a lot of pros and cons to this tennis shoe that you guys should know before purchasing. Now, I want to share a little bit of a backstory on these shoes before I go ahead and get started. Now, initially when I bought these sneakers it back in 2016 with tax, it came to around $730. And recently I went on to the Gucci website to see how much the retail value has gone up in these shoes. And since then, right now it is at about $730 without tax. So I purchased these at the Gucci store in downtown Boston and when I first initially purchased them the number one thing that I thought about before spending $700 on a pair of shoes was longevity. I wanted to make sure that these shoes are something that I could wear for the next two, three, five years before I initially made the purchase. So when looking into that, I was actually torn between two different shoes. I was actually torn between the Gucci Aero version of the tennis shoe and the heart version of the tennis shoe. So I had to think a little bit more logically and I said I really do like the silhouette of the shoe. I like how this shoe looks. I think it's really beautiful. But what can I do to make sure that I can get a lot of wear out of these in the next couple of years? So what I did is I focused less on trend and I made sure to buy something that was a little bit more subtle so that I can wear it for a longer period of time. When it comes to being subtle, there are two different types of shoes that you could go for when it comes to the Gucci A sneakers. You can get something that has an embellishment like this. Like I know that this is the this is the arrow part version of this shoe, but they do have like the um pin version that's similar to this and they also have the B version. And the little B version is just no embellishments. It's very simple, very subtle, very classy. At the initial time of purchase, I was wanting something a little bit different. I didn't want to be like everyone else and either have the heart shoe or the B shoe. I wanted to make sure that I can get something that was different but subtle. So I ended up going for this arrow and at the time not a lot of people, I didn't notice a lot of people having the arrow shoe. To be honest till this day I still don't see people with the arrow. I have been able to wear these tennis shoes with a lot of different outfits without it having to be too much. Something that I first noticed with literally within a 24 hour window of buying the shoe was the creasing on the side here. I'll give a little bit of an overview. Um, when I, I actually, after my purchase, I was so excited that I wanted to wear them out of the store. And from Copley Mall to Newberry Street, there was a significant amount of creasing going on and I was like, what the heck is happening here? I'm like, I just spent $700 on these pair of shoes. Why are there so many creases at the front? I was really, really upset. Here's a better version to see of that creasing right there. I was really upset. I was like, what is going on? And I actually ended up the next day going back to the store and I thought that there might have been a defect with these sneakers. However, they did give me a new pair and the same thing happened with the new pair. They just crease really easily. It may be because of the leather that it's made out of. It's made out of a very soft leather. So when you're wearing them or if you're doing any type of movement, it's gonna crease easily. But seeing that, you know, that was just one little default at the time, I ended up letting it go and I still kept the shoes anyway. So as far as the longevity and the durability of the shoe, right now it is November 2019 and these shoes are in pretty okay condition still. Here is a little bit of an overview of what they look like now. They do have a lot of creasing, so obviously over time the creasing is just going to get worse for, with whatever you're uh, doing. And especially if you walk a lot in these shoes. So. As far as durability, the shoe is still standing. Now, one thing I did notice though is that there are no creases at the back. The back stair fairly still does look brand new, um, which I think is amazing. Like, I feel like all of this right here still has held up really well, especially after three years of wear. The only place you're really gonna see the creases is right in the front. like. 
everything in the front here is gonna get creased. But this is, like I said, this is three years of wear over time. So that's something you have to take into consideration. I know you're not supposed to wear them um, in really bad weather conditions, but I have been caught with these shoes in the rain. Um, I think I wore them actually in the snow uh, a couple of winters ago. And yeah, they've been through a lot, but I feel like for the price, they have definitely held up the comfort level of the shoe has not decreased at all since 2016. I'm telling you right now. This shoe is so incredibly comfortable. Every single time I put them on, I never have an issue. They've never given me problems with my feet. I can wear them for a really long amount of time and be okay. They are so, so comfortable. I typically wear my tennis shoes with either low socks, like no-show socks, or no socks at all. But I feel like if you're gonna, because the leather, like I was saying before, is so soft on the inside, you can definitely wear these shoes without socks and be okay. What I noticed at around the two and a half year mark is that the embellishments were slowly starting to come off. Here you can kind of see the little arrow pieces here are falling off. I don't like to pick them off. I kind of just let it fall off naturally if it's gonna. And here you can see that the shoe, the end of the arrow at the shoe is still intact. There's just a little bit here that's kind of coming off there. But for the most part, it's it's pretty much a done deal here. Um, this side completely lost a gem. And um, yeah, not really a good look. But, the t but this still is all intact. So, so that's all still intact right there. This is also another reason why people probably buy the B shoe. If you're gonna buy the Gucci A sneaker and you're really looking for something with a little bit of extra longevity, go for the B version of the shoe. It's because the B version does not have any jewels, any embellishments on it. It simply just has a little B in the middle and the rest of this area here is just plain. People tend to go for that because you don't have to risk jewels and little diamonds and studs and embellishments falling off, kind of like the arrow shoe does. I feel like if I could go back in time and I could really think about how much use I wanna get out of this shoe and how durable it's gonna be over time, I probably would have purchased the B version of the shoe just because now I'm seeing that, you know, there's a little bit of wear and tear here and, um, I feel like if I still, if I had the B shoe, this, I wouldn't be having to deal with this issue right here. Another area that you have to keep in mind when purchasing is the logo in the back. So all of the sneakers start off with here. It's a little, it's super, super faint, but it has that little Gucci logo that is supposed to be on the back of the shoe. After two and a half years, I noticed that this was rubbing off. It started coming off at around the two and a half year mark. Right now, you can barely even see that there's anything there, especially on the green side of the shoe. It's gone, guys. It's, it's, these shoes have really seen it all here. You can barely even see it's like still there. You want to also keep that into consideration too, that the back of the shoe is also going to be affected um, with wear and tear over time. You can actually see on the green part here that the little flakes, I don't even know what you call this. It's just rubbing off on the sides. So that's one thing that you also might want to consider before buying too, is that the back of the shoe is also going to get hit with a lot of different wear and tear issues. So another thing that I noticed after the two year mark, around the two and a half year mark, is that there are strings that are coming apart in the shoe. Um, like for example here this little string here. I don't really know how this came out But I noticed around six Six to nine months ago that this started to happen. So I was kind of like, oh, okay What's going on here? But for the most part on the other side of the shoe, you don't really have that issue um, There is a little bit of wear and tear on the insides But then also keep in mind that I do wear these with no socks sometimes so that's gonna happen but for the most part, everything is still intact. You might notice something, a little bit of strings coming loose like that. There's a little bit of string coming loose here on the lace part of the shoe as well. So, I mean, 
I guess after three years, things like that are just going to happen. Another thing to talk about is the laces here. Since I purchased these in 2016, you might think I'm crazy, but I have not changed the laces on these. I actually wanted to contact the Gucci store to see if they do lace shoelace replacement. I'm not sure if that's a thing. I've actually relaced and laced these from the initial purchase, so I kind of have... I wanted at a certain time in my life, <laughs> I guess a few years ago, to have like this cool little detail with the laces, so that's what I did. But at the initial purchase, it's already laced and perfect for you. I feel like I had them for so long that I was kind of getting tired of the original lace style, so I redid it myself. For me to have these laces on for three years, they still look decent should definitely call the Gucci store myself soon to see if they do the shoelace replacement or just buy a new pair of laces myself. I think if I did that it might you know make it seem a little bit more new and refined if I definitely got some laces to replace it. In fact that a lot of the color is still really good. So this looks like this area right here literally looks brand new. I mean, the rubber is, obviously you could see there's a little bit of damage with the rubber, and don't even get me started with the bottom of the shoe. Obviously, it's really gross right now, but I feel like for the most part, this still looks pretty decent. Like I said, when you do purchase these, you're not going to see a lot of the creasing in the back. You're going to see the creasing in the front of the shoe. Like that. Hold on, there's a really bad crease, like right here. I got some like pink stuff on the side of the shoe. I don't know how I did that or where I did that, but yeah. So in sum, a lot of the issues that I have seen with this shoe are just simply from the fact that they are three years old. Unless you're super up close, you can't really tell that they have a lot of damage. And that's something that's super beneficial. I feel like if you're going to buy these shoes, no one's going to be right up at your shoe looking at the creases. What people will initially notice is just the fact that they are simply Gucci sneakers. No one's really going to be looking super hard at what is going on in the detail with your shoe. After the first year, you're just going to want to throw them on to go get groceries, throw them on to just go do quick errands. You're not really going to care if it's raining outside. Trust me, I... I thought I was going to be like an angel with these shoes, but honestly, you have no idea you're going to get used to them and you're going to wear them in situations that you're really not supposed to. So you might want to just take good care of them. Don't be like me. They have they have a lot of potential to last a really long time and look like brand new condition if you take care of them properly. See, now that's what I didn't do. I didn't take care of them properly. But if you guys are looking for a really good shoe that's going to last you a super long time, I definitely recommend these. Now, as far as the embellishments, you see what's going on with mine. So you might want to go for the B shoe just to have a little bit more longevity and more bang for your buck especially if you're going to be buying something that is so expensive. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe. I have a lot of good content coming up for you guys, so you don't want to miss that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.